okay so this is a continuation of the messages with GMC this one said hello Brody it might be helpful if I explain that we are unable to confirm a doctor's registered status in writing because a doctor's registration of status is subject to change and so any information we provide in writing cannot be guaranteed to be current and correct our online medical registry is updated in real time so a doctor's current registration status can always be confirmed you can access the medical register here Doctors are obliged to provide their registered name and GMC reference number when asked. Doctors can practice under an alternate name, for example, a doctor might use their maiden name rather than their married name, but they must ensure they're making their registration name clear to patients. If the doctor has not made this clear for you, and you also believe that the doctor is practicing outside of the limits of their registration, you should raise your concerns with us. I've made our fitness to practice department aware of your communication, however, to look into this further we will need more information from you. Please complete our online form to raise your concern. If you also wish to raise concerns about your treatment by the hospital staff, you may want to contact the Patient Advice and Liaison Service POWs for the trust. The number I found for them is that one there. I hope this is helpful. Best, best wishes, Tanita. I used to have a pair of scales made by Tanita. Hello. Yes, this is helpful. Thank you. Could you tell me where in law it states that names should be made clear and in what context this is considered cons to be constituent, please? As you can see, some documents have the doctor's first name, others a middle name. Without checking GMC, of which I was refused details, it would reasonably appear to be two different people. I would imagine this to be a contravention of law. If you could direct me to the legislation on this, that would be great. Whilst I respect the written confirmation could be argued to present a conflict of interest, I don't feel a regulatory body providing a document confirming the present status of its regulated patron to be any different than GMC, or, or for example, the GR GRO, who issue certificates of birth, marriage and death, which are all subject to change and only valid as of their date. However, it would be right liable to ridicule if they refused on this basis. DVLA show types of vehicle a license holder is entitled to drive, also subject to change. Is there an equivalent resource for doctors not on the specialist register? Qualification of medical staff is relative to preservation of life, liberty and legal rights and I don't feel should be withheld under any circumstances by those responsible for granting it. How would you suggest I find out whether this doctor, who has lied, maladministered my medical records and attempted to disguise her name, is not a criminal? I don't feel, as a hospital inpatient, I should have I should have to research exemptions in medical reg legislation to identify whether I'm being treated by a qualified doctor. This is what is implied by the registration page. Thanks for your help. I look forward to hearing back from Brody. Got a message back that said, Hello Brody. The GMC is a regulator for doctors registered and practicing in the UK. As part of our regulatory responsibilities, we issue ethical guidance to doctors. We make sure that our guidance is in line with the law, but our guidance is not legally binding. I can advise on where the information you've requested can be found on our website. Our core guidance for doctors, Good Medical Practice, states in paragraph 64 that if someone you have contact with in your professional role asks for your registered name and or GMC reference number, you must give this information to them. You can find Good Medical Practice and the above paragraph using the following link. We provide guidance for doctors on using their registered name and GMC number on the following page. If you would like to check the doctor's registration status, you can access the list of registered medical practitioners, LRMP, that we have directed you to, or you can call our contact centre. Both of these resources can provide information of a doctor's current registration status. As I am sure you can appreciate, it is more important that any information we provide about a doctor's registration status is up to date, which is why we will not put this information in writing. It could be used to give an incorrect impression of a doctor's registration status. If you'd like to raise concerns about this doctor, again, I would refer you to our online complaints form, which you can access using the following link. Unfortunately, I'm unable to provide the legal advice that you've requested. If you need this, you may wish to seek independent legal advice.